Hi, it's Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to go through the steps to help you install a new keyboard on a Dell Latitude 5480 laptop. The tools you'll need um, are really minimal. You just need a Phillips screwdriver and we use a little pry bar. You could use a regular screwdriver or something flat, a knife, just to do a little prying with. So to start with, you got to pry off the retainer that is over top of the keyboard. There's a couple of spots at the top of the keyboard, as you can see in the picture there, where you insert your tool, and that just gives you a little leverage because all you're going to do is unsnap this uh, this uh, retaining ring. There you can see what it looks like. It's just press fit on there with some plastic tabs. So you just get under it and pry it up. Now that exposes five screws that are mechanically holding the keyboard down. So go ahead and unscrew the five screws. Then we're going to need to disconnect the electric connector which is on the bottom. So we're going to flip the laptop upside down and take off the bottom. The bottom cover is held by uh, Phillips head screws, there's um, eight of them around the perimeter and in the center. So you're going to undo those. We, we, need to, we need to get under the battery to disconnect this connector. Again, you need to pry that up, push your tool, and there's a little spot right there to give you a little bit of mechanical advantage, and it unsnaps. All right, we're going to go under the battery, so we need to disconnect the battery from the motherboard. There's a connector right there. You just pull up on it and it unplugs. That's all there is to it. Now one screw holds the battery in place. Unscrew that. Now the battery should lift out and that exposes the electrical connectors. All you need to do is lift up on the handles. You can see there, just pry it up and then the connector pulls right out. These are zero insertion force or ZIF connectors. That's all there was to it. It disconnected electrically. So now turn the laptop back over and pry up on the keyboard. And now that it's disconnected both mechanically and electrically, you can remove the keyboard. Now we're going to reverse the process in assembling the new keyboard. There's four little tabs across the top, five little tabs. Put the... Um, connector down through the hole that you just took it out of. That's the electrical connector that's going down under the battery. And then kind of angle it up and slip those connectors underneath the holes on the top and on the sides. That holds the keyboard in position so that you can reassemble the five screws that mechanically hold it down. So now you screw five times down and you'll have it mechanically held in place. Put the retaining ring, the first thing we took off, just set it on there and run your finger around to snap it in. It's just a press fit. Little plastic tabs under there. Do Run your fingers like we just did and it's now in place. Turn the laptop upside down and let's reconnect that electrical connector. They slide right back into the connector. There's a line there that shows you how far to slide it in. Once you get that line li lined up, then you pull down on the handle and it locks it in. You just put it up, push down on the handle. There's four of these. Slide it in the hole, pull down on the handle. Slide it in the hole, pull down the handle. That's it. Now put the battery back in and snap the connector back onto the motherboard that connects the battery to the motherboard. And now uh, that one screw that holds the uh, assembly on, go ahead and screw that down. And now we're going to put the bottom cover back on. It snaps in place and held by eight screws. Now, if you were doing this in real life, you might want to test that uh, keyboard and not put this cover on. Um, that might just save you having to take it off just in case you had, didn't do something right in the process. But uh, you're all done, and that should uh, power it up and check out the keyboard. If you have any questions, uh, leave us a question below. 
Uh, if you get a chance to subscribe to our channel, please do that. And if we helped you out, like the uh, video. That's all we got for today. Good luck with your adventure. This is Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.